Rob, prosecutors say this entire unprovoked beating by a CTA employee that played out on this train platform happened directly in front of surveillance cameras. And while they've not made that video public, prosecutors described in court this afternoon what they say that video shows. Emmett Richardson is locked up in the Cook County Jail, accused of violently and repeatedly assaulting a person on the train platform. All this happened while prosecutors say he was on the clock for the Chicago Transit Authority. In court this afternoon, prosecutors say the victim first appears on the LaSalle Blue Line platform around 2 a.m. Saturday, pushing a wheelchair containing his belongings. More than an hour later, prosecutors say Emmett Richardson starts his attack by pushing the man's wheelchair over for no apparent reason. For the next hour, prosecutors say the victim tries over and over to evade an increasingly enraged Emmett Richardson. In the course of the roughly 60-minute attack, prosecutors say Richardson shoved the victim onto the escalator and pulled the victim by his hood, beat the victim with a cardboard drink carrier before they say he dragged the victim by the hood to the top of a flight of stairs. They say he poured full bottles of water on the victim's head and then propped the victim up against a railing, struck him in the head multiple times when the man ultimately went unresponsive. Prosecutors say after the assault, the CTA employee called 911 himself, claiming to have found the man unresponsive with drug paraphernalia. The man was dead before 5 a.m., and police say a CTA colleague identified Richardson in security video. In a statement Monday, the CTA president released a statement saying, the actions on the part of this CTA employee are absolutely reprehensible. I am appalled by this person's behavior, which is not only completely contrary to CTA policies, but also showed a stunning lack of humanity. This afternoon, the judge ordered Richardson be held on $3 million bond. His attorneys point out he has no prior criminal record. Prosecutors also pointed out in court today they say that video never once shows the alleged victim trying to fight back in self-defense. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.